the FAA and others gave money to Auburn University to actually put bacteria on surfaces like armrests and tray tables that you touch all the time, and lots of people touch all the time, when you're on an airplane. And here's what they found out. They found out that when that MRSA, which is a bug that is resistant to regular back to antibiotics, which is what makes it so scary, they found that MRSA can live for five days on those window shades, you know, those window shades that you, you know, touch to pull up I and down. I thought you had a selfie yourself sitting by that window shade and touching it. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, you're <laughs> there I am last night on my flight. <laughs> yes. And you can see I'm like, should I be touching this? I didn't. I must say I did sanitize my hands after all this. And the leather seat, the uh, MRSA can live for six days on the leather seats, you know, the seat that you're sitting on. And on the tray table, it can live for five days oh. and E. coli, which is, you know, can, can cause terrible gastrointestinal problems can li and other problems, can live for three days. So it, it can live longer than you think. You know, these are hardy bugs that have survived, you know, zillions of years and they, they live a long time. Well, no wonder you, I mean, so often I, I think that I, I've come down with something and it's after I've, I've flown in an airplane because, you know, they don't really have time to clean the airplane in between trips. Is that what causes it? to be so germy? Well, I, I want to emphasize that they didn't actually test on an actual plane. What happened is that Delta Airlines gave things like armrests and tray tables to the researchers so that they could sort of play with them in a lab and simulate a cabin experience. Now, the seat pocket actually that they could the bugs could live for seven days on the seat pocket, those cloth seat pockets. But the seat pockets actually, which we do touch, you know, to put things in and out, the cloth prevents the bacteria from spreading easily because the cloth kind of absorbs the bacteria. So I suppose that's that's mm. good news. But, you know, we spoke to, we tried to get people at various airlines, Delta returned our calls, and they said, look, we clean surfaces thoroughly every day. And they're actually so interested in this topic that, as I said, they gave the armrests, et cetera, to the researchers. But, you know, of course, they're not cleaning every minute. So could it be possible that you're going to run into one of these bugs? Absolutely. Not to mention the bugs from the, you know, the flu or the cold or whatever from the person sitting next to you. So, you know, people say they get sick after flying in an airplane. Who knows if it's the airplane? But yeah, you are touching surfaces that a ton of other people have touched and you're sitting knee to knee with someone who might be sick. Well, I'm going to encase myself in plastic the next time I fly. <laughs> that should do it. Actually, you know what, Carol? It's, you don't even have to do that. It's so much easier. Just bring wipes. Bring alcohol-based wipes if you're worried about this. Wipe down the tray table. Wipe down the armrests. That'll kill them.